Ever thought of selling your home on your own and wondered if it's like stepping into a minefield? Well, you might not be far off. Welcome to the world of this, where the rules are different and the stakes are high. In this guide, I will guide you through the puzzle of selling your home without a realtor. We will talk about setting the right price, making your house look like straight out of a magazine, and attracting buyers who are as serious as a heart attack. Imagine saving those hefty realtor fees and being in control of your home sale from start to finish. It's tempting, right? But here's the catch. Vespo is not for the faint-hearted. It's a game where knowledge and strategy are your best friend. So if you are ready to dive into the deep end, stick with me. I am Durit. Armed with experience and a touch of dark humor, I'm here to navigate you through the twists and turns of Vespo. By the end of this video, you will be equipped to decide if going solo in home selling arena is your cup of tea. Now that you are strapped then let's start with the sunny side of this book. Why do some homeowners decide to take the lead and sell their house themselves? It's not just because they love paperwork and long chats with strangers. No, there is more to it. First up, saving a realtor's fee. Doing it yourself means you can save a chunk of change that would otherwise go to a realtor. We are talking about potentially thousands of dollars that stays in your pocket. That's enough to make anyone's wallet sing. Then there is control. Vespo will put you in the driver's seat. You decide on the listing price, you set the schedule for showing, and you choose which offer to entertain. It's like being a king or queen of your own real estate kingdom, but without the crown and the scepter. And let's not forget about the personal touch. Selling your own home means you get to tell its story firsthand. Who knows the unique details of your home better than you? You're not just selling walls and roof, you are selling memories. And who better to do that than the person who left them? But here's the kicker. While Vespo has its perks, it's not all rainbow and unicorn. It's more like rainbow with a chance of occasional hail. It takes a great time and a bit of know-how and that's what I'm here to help you with. All right, let's talk numbers. Is setting the right price for your home is like playing darts blindfolded. You need to hit the bullseye without seeing it, but don't worry. I have got some tips to help you take the blindfold off. Firstly, put your detective hat and do some market research. Look at similar homes in your area, what they are listing for, what they are actually selling for. It's like snooping on your neighbors but for a good cause. Then consider getting a professional appraisal. Yes, it costs a bit, but think of it as an investing in a treasure map that leads you to the right price. An appraiser gives you an unbiased view of what your home is truly worth. Not just what you think it's worth after all those weekends spent on DIY projects. Also remember this golden rule. Time equals money. How quickly you need to sell can be your guiding star in setting that price tag. If you're not racing against the clock, you might consider dipping your toes in the water with a slightly higher price. It's like fishing. Sometimes you need to wait for the big catch. But here is the word of caution. A house that lingers on the market too long starts to look like last season fashion in the eyes of buyer. It's all about striking the delicate balance. On the flip side though, if you need to sell quickly, then pricing at market value or even a smidge below can be your secret weapon. It's like throwing a piece of cake into a room full of hungry people. It sparks a bidding war. And more often than not, this frenzy can push the sales price above your initial ask. It's a bit of a gamble, but who said selling a house isn't an adventure? Now, if all this talk of strategy feels like planning space mission, remember that a realtor lives and breathes this stuff. They have got the know-how to time your sale just right. Whether you're in a hurry or have a luxury of time, they can read the market and price your house to attract the right buyer at the right moment. But for those brave souls venturing into Vespo, fear not. I'm here to guide you through this water one strategy at a time. All right, let's dive into the art of home staging, where you turn your lived-in house into a buyer's dream. Think of it as setting the stage for a play where your home is the star. You are the director. First thing first, declutter like a professional organizer. You want potential buyer to see the space, not your collection of fridge magnets. It's like creating a blank canvas for buyer to paint their own future memories. Next, give your house a good scrub down. Keeping things clean is very important. And in home staging, it's what sets the saints apart from the sinners. A sparkling home whispers buy me in a way that word just cannot. And then there is the magic of depersonalization. Pack away those family photos, quirky art pieces, and anything that screams someone else's life. You want buyer to envision themselves in the space, not feels like they are intruding on yours. And lastly, a touch of a neutral decor can do wonders. A few well-placed below, some tasteful artwork, and plants can transform a space. You're not trying to win a contest, 
just welcoming vibe that says home sweet home. While DIY staging can work wonders, don't forget that realtors are like the set designers of home sales. They know exactly how to dress a home for success. But if you're going solo, remember, less is often more. And clean always wins. Hanging in there? Great. Keep watching for some home changing Vespo strategies coming up. Let's talk about making your home ready for its close up. Yes, I mean professional photos and videos. In the age of Instagram and TikTok, visuals are king and your home needs to be camera ready. Think of professional photos as your home dating profile. You want it to look irresistible. Good lighting, the right angle, maybe even a bit of makeup, aka staging. You wouldn't go on a first date in your pajamas, right? So why let your house creep potential buyers in anything less than a Sunday best? And video. They are like the trailer to the blockbuster that is your home. They give buyers a real feel of walking through the space, capturing the flow from room to room. It's a storytelling where your home is the main character embarking on the journey to find its new owner. Here is where the DIY approach can be tricky. Sure, we all have a decent camera in our pockets these days, but the reason why professional photographers exist, they have the skill, equipment, and an eye for detail that can make your home go from mm to wow. Remember, in the real estate market, the first impression is everything. High quality photos can make the difference between a buyer swiping right on your home or passing it by for the next listing. While this is one area where going solo might be tempting, it's also a stage where expertise can really shine. A realtor network often includes professional photographers specialized in making home look like a million bucks, sometimes quite literally. But if you're up for the challenge, remember, good lighting, declutter, and no shaky camera always work. Now, let's get into the nitty gritty of marketing your home. In the Vespa world, you are not just a seller. You are a marketing guru, a social media whiz, and a salesperson, all rolled into one. First up, the internet is your best friend. List your home on all the major real estate platforms. It's like putting up a giant billboard on the information highway. Make sure your listing has all the bells and whistles, striking photos, a captivating description, and all the juicy details buyers crave. Social media is the town crier of the digital age. Use it to spread the word about your home. Post those beautiful photos and videos, share updates, and maybe even create a dedicated page for your house. Just avoid going full salesman mode. Nobody likes to be bombarded by buy my house posts at every scroll. And don't forget the good old yard sign. It's classic, it's simple, and it works. It's like waving a flag that says, hey, look over here, dream home for sale. And who knows, your neighbor's friend cousin might just be looking for a house in your area. Now, word of mouth still has its charm. Tell your friend, family, neighbors, and even your barber. Sometimes they can be a great broadcaster. You never know who's in the market for a home. It's like setting up a network of home selling spies, all working for you. And here is where a touch of realtor realm. Marketing a home is a full-time job involving strategy, timing, and knowing just where to find those elusive buyers. Realtors have this down to science. They've got the tools, the contacts, and the experience. But hey, if you're feeling bold and ready to do your own marketing, I'm here to guide you through every step. All right, brace yourself. We are diving into the world of communication and negotiations. This is where your inner diplomat meet your inner salesperson. It's a delicate dance, part charm, part strategy, and a whole lot of patience. First, communication. You are not just answering questions about square footage or the age of your roof. You are painting a picture, telling the story of a home where futures can unfold. Be responsive, be informative, but also be a listener. Every buyer has a tale, and understanding it can be your secret weapon in sealing the deal. Now, let's waltz into the negotiation. It's not just about the price. It's about terms, conditions, and timing. It's like playing poker. You have got to know when to hold them, when to fold them, and when to push for a little more. Remember, you're not just selling a house, you're negotiating a life change, both for you and the buyer. A word of caution, emotions runs high in home sales. Keep a cool head, treat negotiations like a business transaction, not a personal battle. After all, you are both after the same thing, a fair deal. This is when realtors can be more than just helpful. They can be a lifesaver. Negotiation can get tricky. And having someone who knows the ins and outs, the do's and don'ts can be the difference between successful sale and a deal that falls apart. But for those taking the Vespo path, fear not. With the right approach, a dash of charm, and a sparkle of firmness, you can navigate those waters like a seasoned captain. Brave soul, aren't you? Stick around.
the best Vespo nuggets are yet to come. Welcome to the showstopper of home selling, open houses and viewing. This is your chance to shine, to show off your home in all its glory. It's like hosting a party where the guest of honor is your house and the potential buyers are the VIP guests. First, timing is everything. Schedule your open house when most people are free. Think weekends or early evenings. It's like planning a blockbuster movie premiere. You want everyone to come, right? Next, set the stage. You've already decluttered and staged, but now it's, it's time for the final touches. Fresh flowers, a welcoming scent, and maybe some soft background music. You're not just selling a space, you're selling an experience. Be the gracious host. Greet visitors with a smile, offer information, but give them space to explore. It's a delicate balance between being helpful and hovering like an overzealous salesperson. You want them to feel at ease, imagining themselves living there. Safety tab, secure your valuables and personal items. Not every visitor is a serious buyer. It's better to be safe than sorry. And here is a spot where realtors' expertise can be golden. They know how to run an open house like a well-oiled machine, drawing in the right crowd and creating just the right ambience. But if you are steering the ship solo, remember, warmth, information, and a dash of charm can make your open house ahead. Remember, open houses and viewings are more than just showing off your property. They are about creating connections sparking imaginations and leaving impressions. Done right, your open house can be the turning point in your Vespo journey. Let's talk about a crucial step in your Vespo journey, the home inspection. Think of it as the ultimate test for your home, where every corner and hidden spots is thoroughly examined. It's a bit like a reality TV reveal, but instead of a dramatic makeover, you get a report card for your home health. A home inspection can uncover anything from minor fix up to major red flags. It's better to know this upfront than be blindsided later. Be prepared for some surprises. Homes like people have their quirks and secrets. Once the inspection report is in your hand, take a deep breath. It might look daunting, just a list of to-dos. Prioritize the fixes based on the severity and affordability. Some you can DIY, others might need professional hands. But remember, every repair is a step towards sealing a great deal. Transparency is a key. Share the inspection report with potential buyers along with any repairs you have made. It builds a trust and show you are not trying to hide anything. It's like saying, hey, I care about this home and I want you to know exactly what you're getting. Now, a realtor can be a lifesaver in navigating the choppy wire of home inspection. They can help interpret the report, suggest repairs, and even recommend reliable contractors. But for the brave Vespo sailors, this is your chance to show how you responsible and upfront you are as a seller. Handle this well and you will be one step closer to a successful sale. Stick with me until the end for a special insider tip on Vespo success. Welcome to the grand finale of your Vespo adventure, the legal paperwork and closing. It's like the boss level in a video game where the challenge is real but so is the reward. First up, the legal paperwork. It's a maze of contracts, disclosures, and legal jargon that can make your head spin faster than a merry-go-round around. This isn't just dotting your I's and crossing your T's. It's like making sure you are not accidentally signing up for a lifetime subscription to a service you don't want or need, unless that's your intention. You will need a good real estate attorney, someone who can navigate the legal wires without capsizing the boat. They will handle the contract, ensure compliance with the state laws, and basically be your legal guardian. Then comes the closing, the moment of truth. This is where all parties come together to sign paper, exchange keys, and transfer funds. It's the final handshake, the curtain call of your Vespo show. Closing can be as complex as a rocket launch sequence. There are title, searches, escrow arrangement, and final walkthroughs. It's the culmination of all your hard work, where attention to details is the name of the game. In this stage, the expertise of a realtor can be invaluable. They have been to this redo many times and know how to avoid bulls. But if you are committed to going solo, arm yourself with patience, a good attorney, and maybe a stress ball or two. Remember, crossing the finish line of a Vespo sale is an achievement worth celebrating. It's a testament to your determination, savvy, and sheer gift. So when you finally hand over those keys, take a moment and pat yourself on the back. You've earned it. Congratulations, you have sold your home Vespo style. But before you break out the bubbly, let's talk about post-sale process. It's the anchor after the main show, where a few critical steps ensure everything wraps up smoothly. 
First, there is the matter of handing over the keys. It sounds simple, but it's symbolic. The final transfer of your home to its new owner. Make sure all your personal belongings are out and the home is in a condition agreed upon in the sale. Then you might have some financial loose ends to tie up. If you are using portion of the sale to pay off your mortgage, this is where you arrange it with your lender. It's like setting your tab. It's like settling your tab at the end of a long night. Don't forget about the nitty gritty of moving. If you haven't already finalized your move plans, change your address and transfer utilities, it's the logistical palette of leaving one home and moving to another. Lastly, keep records of everything related to the sale. In the world of real estate, paperwork is your breadcrumb trail. You never know when you might need to retrace your steps. While the post-sale process might lack the adrenaline of negotiations or open houses, it's the crucial final chapter in your Vespa story. Dotting the I's and crossing the T's here ensures that your home selling journey ends on a high note with no lingering loose ends or unresolved issues. And there you have it. You have not only sold your home, but you have also navigated the complexities of Vespo. Take a moment to appreciate your accomplishment. Who knows, maybe you have discovered a hidden talent in real estate. Let's take a moment to bounder critical question. When should you consider waving the white flag on Vespo and bring in a realtor? It's like acknowledging that sometimes you need a superhero to swoop in. Firstly, if you're finding the Vespo journey more daunting than you anticipated, like trying to solve the Rubik's Cube blindfolded, it might be time to call in the cavalry. A realtor brings expertise and connection that can turn the tide in your favor. Think about the market too. If it's more unpredictable than a game of a whack-a-mole, a realtor's market savvy can be invaluable. They can navigate the market trend, buyer's behavior, and pricing strategies like a seasoned captain in a stormy seas. Then there's the time factor. If selling your home is turning into a marathon with no finish line inside, a realtor can help speed things up. Their marketing bros and network can reach buyers you didn't even know existed. And remember, hiring a realtor isn't admitting defeat. It's making strategic decisions for the sake of your sanity and your wallet. They can handle the heavy lifting, the complex negotiations, and the intricate paperwork, turning a taxing process into a manageable one. So if, if you find yourself at a crossroad in your Vespa journey, weigh your options. Sometimes the best move is to pass the baton to someone equipped to run the rest of the race for you. And now, since you're still here, let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture, the pros and cons of this book. It's like deciding whether to cook dinner yourself or order a takeout. Both have their perks and pitfalls. So what's the pros of this book? First, cost saving. The most obvious pro, of course, avoiding realtor's commission can save you a pretty penny. It's like finding a $20 bill in your old jeans. Second, control. You can call the shots. From setting your price to scheduling your view, you are the boss. It's your show, your rules. And third, personal touch. You know your home best. This means you can add the personal charm to the sale, telling the story of your home like no one else can. I'm sure you're asking yourself, what's the con, though? First, time and effort. Vespo is a time consuming. It's like, it's like juggling flaming torches while riding a unicycle. You need to be prepared to invest a lot of your time and energy. Second, complexity. The process can be complex. From legal paperwork, it's not just a walk in the park. Sometimes it feels more like a hike up Everest. And third, selling your home can be emotionally taxing. It's hard to separate your memories and feelings from the business transaction. And now for the balanced viewpoint. While Vespo gives you more control and potential saving, it also demands more from you in terms of time, effort, and emotional investment. It's a path that can lead to great rewards, but not without its share of hurdles. In the end, whether Vespo is right for you, depending on your situation, your skills, and your willingness to take on the challenge. It's like deciding between cooking and takeout. Both will feed you, but the experience are entirely different. And there you have it, a world tour through the exhilarating, sometime hair-rising world of Vespo. We have covered everything from pricing your home to staging it like it's about to grace the cover of a magazine and navigating the legal maze that is the closing process. We have looked at the bright side of Vespo, the cost saving, the control, and the unbeatable feeling of doing it all yourself. But we've also peeked into the darker corners, the time, 
effort and the emotional roller coaster that it can be. Remember, selling your home Vespo isn't for the faint of heart. It's for the brave, the determined, and the slightly adventurous. It's a path filled with potential rewards and challenges. Much like deciding to assemble that complicated IKEA piece of furniture yourself instead of calling a bro. And we all know how that goes. As we wrap up, take a moment to pat yourself on the back. Whether you are gearing up to embark on your Vespo journey or deciding to hand over the reins to a realtor, you are now armed with knowledge. And in the world of real estate, knowledge isn't just power, it's peace of mind. So go forth, sell your home with confidence, and remember, whether Vespo or with a realtor, the goal here is the same, to turn your current home into someone's future dream. Ciao.